Hey guys, this is Code Draco, and um, I wanted to make a follow-up tutorial to my Photoshop 3D text tutorial, and in uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make text in Cinema 40, and I know there's a lot of text tutorials out there for Cinema 40, but I'm going to show you guys uh, a lot of different cool styles and like a bunch of cool things you can do and you know a little a bunch of little tricks that most graphic designers like wouldn't want to share but I just want to like you know help you guys out all right so uh, uh, by the way could you guys check out uh, this guy youtube.com slash haze HD uh, it'd be really cool cuz uh, he uh, I've been using this template for a long time now this right here and um, uh, you know, sometimes I try to mix it up. Like this time, I added a flare or a like a little blade, like some blades on the side and stuff, and like some new like glasses. But you know, it's still the same template. So I uh, I saw this template and I like I like fell in love with it the second I saw it. So I asked him for it. And most graphics designers wouldn't give away the templates, but this guy is, is so cool, and he gave it to me for not for no charge. Just like he was like, all right, it's so that's so awesome. But yeah, uh, thanks. Um, alright, so let's start with the tutorial. Tutorial. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Alright, so. I'm opening up Cinema 40. If you don't have Cinema 40, I suggest you go get it, because it's probably, like, the best program I've ever, like, it's probably, like, it's just awesome. It's helped me so much to my graphics. Alright. Now, first thing you want to do is, uh, this is how I do it. There's a lot of different ways to uh, adjust your render settings, and there's a lot better ways than I do it, but this one is has probably the quickest render time and just easy to set up. All right. Uh, on output, you want to stick it to 1280 by 720, and then uh, click Render Region. Uh, this this is sometimes it won't uh it won't register and it won't change the uh the affected area 12 by 720 so just click it and then on save you want to check PNG and then make sure you check alpha channel because that's probably the most important thing all right and uh, I already have it as a preset I just called it uh, render settings load priest wow is it really gonna do this all right I just call it normal so uh, but when you have a preset what you want to do is just select it and then delete the render setting there all right so here we go as you can see um our 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 old r r render region was really small and now it's gotten bigger. And the render region is the light gray area, as you can see right here, and the dark gray area on the sides are what the uh, picture viewer won't cap capture. So just try to keep stuff out of here. All right. So a lot of people, what they'll do when they make text, they'll uh, go to their text tool over here and they take the blank outline and they start typing and stuff, and they'll go to extrude nerves, which is right here. But that is a lot more difficult than it has to be. Um, what I do is I'll go to MoGraph and then text object and here it already gives you a preset just 3d style and that just makes it pretty easy now go to align middle that just keeps it all a lot easier and it keeps it all centered and uh, let's change the font tutorial or let's change the text all right so uh, let's change the font um, let's see let's pick just a simple font Uh, I don't really like that. <laughs> Just stick with simple Babis new. And here you can edit basic. Oh crap! Middle. Here you can edit basically everything. You can edit. You can lower the horizontal spacing. Uh, if you have two, if you have two lines, like see two lines, you can lower the vertical spacing, which brings them closer together. Um. Put that back. All right, and then uh, you can just basically change everything. And what you want to do is just hide the depth uh, don't put it too high but you know a good amount I think 80 will be fine for this alright so here we already have text so it's good and then now let's add some like caps alright now we have the two caps here let's go to start cap and pick fillet cap and let's put them both to fillet and now let's hire the uh, what I would usually do it matters really what type of font this is but uh, for this font you kinda want this low you, uh, you want kind of like I think actually five is good for this song but some fonts it looks a lot better with lower uh, radiuses and higher radiuses and what I like to do is I like to give it a few more steps just to add some uh, curves to it 
and also ender rat to see how it looks. And, uh, alright, I like that. Now, uh, actually, let's just keep it back to one. I don't know. <laughs> alright, yeah, that should be fine. But, alright, so see, we have this text. Um, you can really mess around. Stabs basically just makes it rounder, uh, and this is just how wide it is. The radius, and you can mess around with that. It really depends on the font, because the font, uh, uh, you can edit that, and it'll look better with different fonts. But, alright, let's add some, uh, let's add some, you know, materials. Alright, uh, let's just pick a regular black and lower the specular. Alright, that should be good. And then let's just drag this on. Alright, and let's just make this white. You can edit this however you want, add reflections to make it look nice and stuff. But I just want to make it simple just because it's already, this tutorial is already running pretty long. Now let's lower this a little. Let's add a bit of a reflection, not that much. Alright, I think. Eight. All right, yeah. Now let's drag it onto here, and now we have two materials on the text object: a black material. Let's see if that's too much specular. All right, never mind. One second. Uh, okay. We have a black material and a white material. Oh, let me lower the specular on this real quick. I don't really like specular that much. All right. So we have a black material and a white material, and what I kind of what I'm kind of going for is a black material on the face of the text, and then a white material on the uh, caps. So how to do that is you want to drag the face of the text to the back, and you want to drag the color, the cap material to the front. Front. Now, uh, you should on these three uh, little tabs go to tag, and on selection you want to make sure you go to R1. Uh, make sure it's all caps because it won't work. Now deselect and render it out. As you can see, it'll select the top part. For um, it'll it'll make the top part or like here I can probably show you it better like this. See. It'll just make this part white. You can also, if you want, add add this again. And if you're doing like an intro, uh, uh, tag it as R2, which will select the back one as white also. As you can see from that. All right. And if you uh, if you want the sides, and you can make the sides another color too. Let me show you the tag for that. It's just really like a random color. Um. Okay. Okay, um, probably shouldn't spend this much time. Alright, so if you want to add a color to the sides, press this and press C1. Now, oh wait, no. Without, how to do that is that you have to get rid of these two and then select this one with no selection. I, I, know, I know there's a tag for the side, but I forgot it. And then make the black one C1. And then if you, uh, and then push the black one to the front, and you render it out, and the sides are that color. All right, but let's go back to the white and black thing we had going on before. All right, so we got this white and black text, and there's a few different things you can do with it while it's still a text. Now, first you can make a angled, like a sort of angled, you know, like different directions. I'm sure you've seen it before, like the text going all in different directions. It's a pretty nice look, but uh, let me show you how to do that. Now you have your text object here, and press C. That'll make an editable object, or you can right click and go to uh, make editable. But yeah. So see, now it's not a text object anymore. You can't change, what you wanna do now, you have to you wanna make sure that uh, uh, you have all your caps right, and you have everything spelled right, because you can't go back. Now, you wanna press plus on all of these until you see all the letters. Now, press the first letter, hold down shift, and press the last letter. Now drag it over, until you see the left arrow, uh, the left arrow, so it's on a different layer, or uh, it's like not connected to these anymore, and then delete these three. All right, so now you just have bare text. Um, all right, so what you want to do, which uh, now you can edit it however you want, like the single letters, and you and like what you can do is you can like rotate them like this and stuff if you want in all different directions, but I don't really like to like waste my time doing all that. So what I what I like to do is I like uh, going to MoGraph Fracture Object, and then carry all these. But once again, sh oh, shift click uh, shift click the first and the last, and then carry this until the air is pointing down. The text should turn gray. If it doesn't, just retry that. Just do what I, do what I just did. Now what you want to do is select all of these from Fracture Object to the uh, last letter, then go to MoGraph Random Effector. It should give you this effect. Now what you want to do is go to Perimeter. 
and then position and then uncheck position. Uh, position is basically for you know you can mess it or mess with it for like uh, if you want to make an intro, but I'm not showing you how to make an intro. So let's uncheck posi uncheck position and let's check rotation. Now let's just you can play with this as much as you want. It's it's actually really fun to play with it to see the type of effects you get. But yeah, so now that we have a um, uh, like a basic just like starting like sort of uh, like th uh, angles or whatever going on here uh, you can change it to how you like so maybe you think the T's a bit too far away move it over and take your rotation tool and just, just move it over and then you can move it all however you want maybe you want like this right here maybe you want to move all of these and then uh, you can move it front and back as much as you want alright let me just make a quick little angle thing to show you how it will look alright that should be good okay so now we have this just like a simple little angles to all of them and it looks pretty nice already now uh, let me turn the camera a little alright so let's add our uh, materials again go to fracture object you want to add it to fracture objects time add the black and add the white now once again select it to R1 or uh, R2 if you're doing that alright so now what you want to do is zoom in with the camera so you want to make sure all the text fits inside of uh, see how much time I got alright you want to make sure all the text fits inside of the light gray parts now press this button alright uh, that looks pretty good to me now let's add a quick light and well, this is just how I set I, I only set up one light that's how I like a lot of people set up multiple I'm actually really bad with lighting so if you want to get if you want to make better lighting than I do just go watch our lighting tutorial on YouTube that's what I suggest because I'm uh, really bad at lighting on Cinema 40, but yeah. All right, so we see it. We have some simple stuff right there. Turn around, zoom in. All right, all right. We got our text back to where it was. You have to find it again once you uh, zoom out for the light. But all right, here we have the text, and let's render it out with the light. And it gives a, a kind of more realistic look, just for more realism. When you select your light and go to Shadow, Shadow Map Soft, and then press this and. I think that looks pretty nice. Now let's go to Picture Viewer. Now it's going to render it out, and because of the settings I showed you earlier, it's going to be real quick. And you want to make sure, as before, everything's in the dark uh, or the light gray area, because as you can see, it ends at the very at the very point that the light gray area ends. Now go to File, Save As, OK, and then you should it sh you shouldn't have to change anything there if you did it all right. And let's change it to Save it to our Desktop as Tutorial Text. Now let's open up Photoshop. I got like one more minute. Let's hope Photoshop can open up pretty quickly. <laughs> Alright, now file, open, desktop, tutorial text. And because we saved it how we did, it should be all good with a no background. So you can just move it around, add to whatever you want. All right, I gotta end this right now. Thanks, guys, for watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.